It depends. What would you guys say is easier? Like, ours are flat yep. with picks. Obviously, people don't like picks. Toe pick. But picks are easier, easier to push with, right? Hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna skate. Ready? And rolling. Go ahead. Okay, I love that you have the gloves Faster. and the padding on. This is really, really good. So remember, the most important thing is to keep your knees bent at all times, okay? You're gonna focus on your outside and inside edges. Go slowly and one at a time. Yeah, and now you need to smile. Yeah. That's figure skating. 101. <laughs> Okay, today I'm going to the city of Edmonton, which I do a lot, but I've been asked to do a commercial today with Jamie Slay. You mental upset. They're, they're a different, you know, their, their concentration, their emotional input. Now, most Canadians that ever watched Olympics or were interested in Olympics would know about the fiasco that went down with this. So you can look at that at yourself. But anyway, going there, we're doing a commercial. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Think about this for a second. I, for one, am a huge fan of free speech, no matter what that speech is. But it seems like right now, you're not allowed to say whatever is free. And I've been thinking about it because it's kind of a weird oxymoron type, well, it's definitely moronic. It's definitely a weird kind of connection happening right now where we say that we're living in a free society, in a free culture, but you're not allowed to say absolutely anything. And okay, sure, maybe there's a line where we shouldn't allow certain things to be said, but, but then again, maybe we should be. It's something we have to think about right now. We're at a weird place. We better be careful. Otherwise, the freedom we do have right now might disappear really quickly. All right, here at where we're shooting. There. All right, here's the script. There it is. We're gonna roll through this thing. It's not super long, but you know, we'll get her done. First one here, we're just setting up some stuff, and yeah, it's not too difficult. I think we're ready to go. So, we'll see what happens next. <laughs> you guys are gonna be on the vlog. Oh. Oh. All right, so here we are on set. Jamie's in the chair. Dr. Rob, Donna, working away. And there's Jaden, and uh, Mark, and Lila. Say hi. Hi. All right, how's it going, guys? Oh, we're not having any fun. <laughs> This is Worth great. This is going one. amazing. <laughs> How are we defining freedom? Because to me, it's either you are free or you aren't. There isn't really like, you're kind of free, but part of you is locked in a prison. You're kind of free, but you're not allowed to actually say what you feel. Freedom is amazing. I love freedom. I'm trying to defend it right now because what I see going on in society is not freedom. The people that are like crying out for freedom are actually the ones that are clamping down on freedom itself. Why? These people feel that anything opposing their view, their opinion, hurts freedom. Them clamping down on it is what's actually doing a lot of the damage. The very fact that people try to clamp it and change it and skew it just makes everyone else hang on harder to their version of the truth. It's an incredible thing when you look at the race and election with Donald Trump, and I know a lot of you are triggered about that, but think about it for a second. All people had to do was let this guy talk, and he did, and he said crazy things, but the fact that many people jumped on it and said that anybody that likes him is this and this and this and this, what it did, it was it caused everybody that liked him, that liked what he stood for, to hide. They were actually being persecuted. They had to hide the fact 
that they were going to vote a certain way. That in of itself is the very thing that destroys freedom. If you can't be open with what you believe and what you feel, and you're persecuted for those things, is that really freedom? That's the question we need to ask ourselves right now. What is my part in promoting or clamping down freedom? Again, I'll say this, that to me, it's hard to be half free. It just doesn't make sense. Either we're free or we're not. All right, and action. Whew. Okay, well, apparently, they really haven't taught you how to skate in South Africa. Cut, cut, cut. Battery. All right, we wrapped here at Urban Smiles, as you can see in the background. Thanks, Jesse. You're welcome. Can't wait to see it. Thanks, Dr. Up. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Good shoot, bro. Thanks, Bob. Jamie? Yes. Oh yeah, you were, you're okay. <laughs> That's fun. I remember watching you on TV. I was like, hey, there's James Slay. And I can't believe we haven't worked together. I know. Well, first time hopefully of many. Many. All right. We are putting our focus and our effort in the wrong things. We need to realign ourselves and start to see what really matters in life. And if we can do that, yeah, if we can actually do that, we'll start to see things get better. But right now, the way it's going, it doesn't look like that's even possible. We need to fight for freedom, but we need to fight to actually have true freedom, which means that no matter what opinion someone is, even if it's one you don't totally agree with, they need to be allowed to speak. If we start clamping down on free speech, we're not free at all even though we think we're the freest we've ever been.